Sometimes God delay us because we have not been through the process. And if you don't go through a process and you arrive in a certain place, you will crash. <sighs> Praise God. I just remembered somebody that was with ministry when we have not really started. We used to pray together. And then God bless the person. The person started a business. And every day I would tell the person, God is going to bless you. Money is going to come. But you must be grounded. Don't be carried away. When money enters your hand, the first thing you think is not buying a car. You see, some people that I see that hold on to money too much, I have realized that it's out of poverty. You don't hold on. What are you holding on to that thing? It looks like it's, is that all you have in this life? Holding on to something too tight. Now, I was asking for this young man a month ago. And nobody's phones are not going on. I tried to call his companies, his PAs, nobody is speaking. They're all acting funny. And I asked about him. And I learned he has disappeared with more than 100 million or hundreds of million of people's money. And I was pained and shocked. I said, How? So I was curious, does he have the money? Did he have the money and disappeared because he needed cash? Or he squandered the money and cannot account for it? So the way I said, the person I said, I think you are saying the right thing. The point is that this is the amount he has been accounted for, but he cannot account for 50 million. I said, how? And the first thing I heard is that he started that business. He divorced his wife. Married a new wife. Had their child. This whole thing I'm telling you, we went to the outreach 2019. That the last outreach we officially did, he was there. Humble guy, cooked and everything. Even if I know that there's a part of him that you know likes BB thing. I don't I'm not against it, but sometimes slow down. You have big admission, have big plans. You must have I have mighty plans, you don't want to know. But I think process makes you know what is important and what is before. So as soon as he got that business, he divorced his wife. Because he didn't say, say ah, married, uh, uh, that he married sins and have a child. Is it today that he divorced his wife? That he just moved out of his house. I said, so what happened? He said, he has three cars. I said, what? <laughs> God. I could imagine what he, what's entered his head. You know, married a new wife, want to show her this is the same person that the other wife was feeding. Let me tell you the whole truth. The other wife was feeding. Was paying rent. He's living in his, her duplex. As in, was feeding. They kept telling him every day, go and humble yourself. Submit yourself to your wife. You don't have to greet her or do anything, but don't be paying that she has the money. Since you are working on something, this business will mature because the business required training. You know you are sitting in a financial institution. They are training for CBN. Be humble. But sometimes, you know, and this men act attitude, I don't know. I was so pained. I don't know if I'm pained that he divorced his wife. I don't know if I'm pained that he married another woman. I have a child. I don't know if I'm pained that he bought three cars. 2020. 2020, half was locked down now. 2020 was not even existing. 2021, 2022, just 2021, 20, three years. Okay. In three years, a man has seen money. My divorce the <laughs> The one who expired, the married new one, had baby, half cars, squandered money, and they woke up one day and just disappeared. It will not be our portion in Jesus' name. When God leaves us, we must have gone through processes to be humble enough to maintain what God has given to us in Jesus' name.